Welcome my dear friends. ADB is a command line tool that establishes communication between Android device and PC. We often face issues to set up this connectivity. Sometimes device is not shown while executing ADB device's command. Or it may be listed with unauthorized or offline status. Without further ado, let's go ahead and fix it. Solution 1. Enable developer options, USB debugging, and stay awake. In your Android device, please open settings. Scroll down to the bottom and tap about phone. Scroll down to the bottom again and find the build number. Tap the build number field seven times to enable developer options. Tap the back button and you'll see the developer options. In some phones you'll need to navigate to system and advanced. Select developer options. Over here, please enable USB debugging as well as stay awake. Solution 2. Revoke USB debugging authorizations and re-enable USB debugging. If settings mentioned in Solution 1 are already in place and ADB is still not working for you, then please select Revoke USB debugging authorizations and disable and re-enable USB debugging. If you reconnect your USB, you should mostly get confirmations prompts on your Android and PC, please accept both. Please go ahead and try ADB devices. You will now get allow USB debugging prompt. Please be sure to choose this checkbox and select allow. Solution 3. Change USB cable. This is most important solution but usually not taken seriously. Please remember not all cables are designed for data transfer, some of the local bought cheap cables are charge only. In some rare cases, the data line in your USB cable is recently damaged. So please try changing your USB cable. Solution 4. Try different USB port in PC. Sometimes the USB port is damaged or incompatible so please try changing the USB port in your PC. Do not connect to the USB hub, use only direct USB port. Solution 5. Change USB preferences in Android device. In your Android device, please scroll down and go to notification area. You should see something similar to this. Please tap for more options. Over here, please change the USB preferences one by one and see which one is working for you. Solution 6. Download latest ADB files in PC. Please open this link from the video description. Select one of these based on your OS. This will download a zip file. Once downloaded please unzip it. We should now launch the command prompt precisely from the folder where we have unzipped ADB files. Hold shift key and right click on the blank space. Over here please select open PowerShell window here. Please type in CMD to get into command prompt. And check if your issue has been resolved. Solution 7. Install latest Android USB driver in PC. I'm going to show you three options, if one worked you can skip other. Option 1. Universal ADB driver. Please open this link from the video description. Select download drivers. Once downloaded, you can double click the EXE and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the driver installation. Option 2. Google USB driver. Please open this link from the video description. Download Google USB driver zip file. Once downloaded please unzip it.
Copy this full path you would need it later. Right click on Start and select Device Manager. Right click on your Android device. Choose Update Driver. Please choose Browse My Computer for Drivers. Over here, please paste the path that we copied earlier. Please enable this checkbox. Select Next and follow the on screen instructions to complete the driver installation process. Option 3 OEM USB Drivers. Please try this option only if driver installation is unsuccessful in the previous two options. Please open this link from the video description. Scroll down, and over here you will see OEM drivers. Based on your device, please choose one of these links and follow the instructions and complete the driver installation. Solution 8. Add or replace latest ADB path as environment variable. Please search and open environment variables. You should check these two path variables one by one. If you see any existing or old ADB path, please select and edit. And replace the latest ADB path obtained from solution 6. If you do not see any path related to ADB, then please select new and paste the latest ADB path. Solution 9. Restart ADB server. Please launch command prompt admin. CD to the latest ADB path. Execute this command to stop ADB server. Let's go ahead and restart the ADB server. Please check if your issue has been resolved. Solution 10. Turn off, unplug, replug and turn on. Please turn off both Android device and PC. Unplug the USB cable from both the ends. Replug USB cable. Now turn on both Android device and PC. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.